this. Just like that, you guys, and we're back in Canada. In the last two vlogs, you probably I went through a shopping spree at uh, Mines and Omori Factory with uh, my good friend, Mr. Markles here. He uh, joined me on my uh, trip to Tokyo, and we went on a, well, Marcos went on a shopping spree for his R34, and this vlog is more for you guys. Uh, if you guys own an R34, you don't want to miss this vlog. Let's get right into it. Um, let's see how much money we, or Marcos saved on this trip compared to buying online. We're gonna go through every individual part that we got and see how much we saved. Let's get started. All right, so it's like Christmas in, uh, when did we go? January. Uh, January. <laughs> Christmas after Christmas and the gifts keep on coming. This, I'm pretty excited. Let's, uh, let's go start out with the first uh, item and uh, I'll let Marcos show you guys how much we saved. We can start in the high item, which okay. is the cluster. Okay, well, which item did you, what was on your actually main list that you really, really wanted that you know that you, we can't get at home here? Okay, that, that was two things, which was the cluster, that was the main thing, the Nismo cluster. Yep. And uh, this, uh, I call it a triangle. <laughs> so, because at the beginning, I don't even know the name, but I know a lot of people use it. So, I stick in with the triangle, yeah. right? So, this is the two items that I was looking for to, to get it. And yeah. I was lucky, uh, very lucky enough to, to get this for a really good price. Yeah. A friend of mine, Jason, lives in Japan. Um, he has an R34 as well, and he has two clusters of this. So, he put one in his car, and I was begging him for days to sell me this one. So finally I convinced him to get it. And uh, I paid for this one, uh, 165,000 yens, which is around 1650 Canadian. And uh, we've been seeing these items between 5,000 and $10,000 Canadian. So take it or leave it, right? But this one, it was the one uh, <clears throat> I was hoping to get the most. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna show what we actually paid and then a high and low online uh, what these items are currently going at you guys so and keep in mind some of these items you can't get I'd uh, I'll mention it when it, we get to it it was one of the items that I really wanted on my list I just couldn't get it and they just won't ship out but we'll talk more about that um, you want to open this Marcos can we open this or no oh, absolutely we can open it this is pretty cool First time open it. Well, second time because we open it in Japan. Try to check the goods. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's, good. Good. <laughs> it's Nismo. That's why. Nismo. <laughs> it's so nice. Nismo. And this is genuine products. Yes. It's not a knockoff or anything. It has the plastic. We, we won't take the plastic off, mm -hmm. but yeah, beautiful. And I don't know. Marcos did a uh, survey online or a poll and a lot of you guys chose the black over yep. the white and over the stock OEM one. And of course, it's, that's a good choice, you guys. Absolutely. Yeah. Black on black. Yeah. Can't get wrong. <laughs> black on black. Yes. Eh? When, when you, you go, go black, black, you don't go back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've seen in my previous video, you guys, there was a whole crate full of just these clusters and Marcos was like, he thought he was like, oh, this is it. We're going to go buy a couple, but sold out. Every one of them was already spoken for, for all the builds that they're doing. Um, the only way you can get a cluster was to actually get your car built there. And they're just, that's expensive. And yeah, that was another way of getting it. Yes. So, this is a hot item. Like, yes. If you guys can get it, I would uh, highly recommend getting it. Because it, uh, re the resale on it is just, it's, it's stupid, right? Stupid. And uh, I promise to Jason, I will not resell it. Like say, even I have uh, some planes in my vehicle. That's the reason I bought it. If for some reason I, I, I'm not available to, to do it, I will keep this closer, I mean, forever. Just on some sentimental value yeah, exactly. right, of this trip and everything. And getting them, you actually meet Jason and them in person was, yes. uh, was uh, pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome and I appreciate it. This is the other one that was on uh, Marcus's list. He calls it a triangle, but it, what did I, at first I didn't know what it was. And then we find out it's actually a tow hook for uh, his R34. And it goes like, I think like this, right, Marcos? No, go the other this side. Way, right? Yeah, this way. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, he calls it a triangle, but it's actually a tow hook. And uh, what did you end up paying for this? Uh, 300,000 yens. 
So that's which is 300 bucks. Yeah. If you do a conversion, 300 bucks. And how much is it online? $200. Oh. Canadian. Yeah, it's so, crazy. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, add it all up and tally up at the end how much savings uh, compared to like uh, including our hotel and um, flights. So we'll add that all together. So that's you saving already. That's, a, mm -hmm. that's almost a free trip already, right? Seriously. All right, all right up next. Uh, I'm gonna put this over here. This is it. Okay, so let's keep on going with the uh, Nismo. So Marcos picked up these uh, little boots for his uh, power steering and brake master cylinders, right? Yes, that's uh, correct. Force. And they were, how much were these, Marcos? They were pretty cheap, like even like I think seven thousand. Yeah, so seventy bucks. Yeah, yeah right? something like that. Seventy bucks. Take it or leave for both. Yeah. For both. Yeah. So, and online, I don't think there was a huge saving on them. No, like not much, but like 10, 15 bucks each. Yeah. So, it wasn't a huge saving, right? But, yeah. All right, so, your emblem? On you that. You probably don't want to open it up, eh? Just, yeah, you can open it. You want to leave it? Of course, open it. It's just little stuff like this, but it just truly adds up, you guys. As uh, all of that experience. Look how sick that is, you guys. V-spec. And uh, expensive? Yeah. <laughs> but it was cheaper enough than compared to eBay or any other places. And how much did we spend or how much did you uh, spend? This one, uh, I believe I pay, um, I think like it was 3500 Yeah, so. Jens, like 35 bucks. 35 bucks? Yeah. Not bad, right? Yeah. But online, it's just like. Like double. Yeah, <laughs> they're going to rape you online. Yeah, seriously. And keep in mind, you guys. All this that if you buy online, you have to add on the duties wherever you live and taxes, uh, shipping, and shipping costs. So, yeah, you have to factor that into. Of course, Marcos got the OG Nismo yes. Deco, very, very cheap. I, you can probably copy this online, but how much did we pay for this, Marcos? Oh, that one it was very cheap, like even like 10,000 gems. So 10 bucks, right? yeah. Relatively, it's a pretty easy copy, guys. Yeah, filters that you will, you will need because. All the cars that are shipped in from Japan, like and it doesn't matter what kind of car it is, most likely these filters are not changed and they're pretty old. So of course Mark Marcos picked some of these up. I think you probably got a pretty good deal, eh? Yeah. This one it was uh, fifty-five thousand yen, which eleven thousand yen for both. Yeah. So, so it was 100. like a hundred and ten dollars for both. <laughs> and that Nismo. So a genuine Nismo too. Yeah. And then your car only needs one, right? Yeah, think, only right? one. Right, only yes. one. So why not pick two when you're there? Save some money, right? Mm -hmm. And there's they fit on the carry-on, you guys. That's pretty good. Pretty awesome deal. Genuine part part numbers too, and they're red too. So yeah. it match. This is nice. I didn't think of getting one of these, but Mark was obviously he thinks ahead. This is sick, you guys. And I've mentioned before, and some of my uh, my mod list, a steering wheel, and a shift knob is a, a must get when you buy a used vehicle. Let's get this open for you guys. Look how nice that is. And Mark was, what will you tell me the difference between? Uh, yeah, this one is the late uh, version because my car is a 2001 and I used to own a 99 and basically the only thing or the difference between this and the, and the early is just uh, the numbers are on black, right? And yeah. this one is solid. These silver. are just, uh, Milled in, I'm milled in, right? They're not filled in like these ones. Yes. Besides that, it's exactly the same. Yeah. If you're there, get one because it, it was it was sold out. He was so lucky. <laughs> As the last I was one. looking at it and then it was a, like it was a frenzy, you guys. It was just people were going crazy trying to pick these up, and Marcos obviously he's smart enough that he picked one up for himself and and the last one his, too. His car is gonna look new and mint. While while I was there, I picked one of these up. I'll give you the part number. The shift knob, and I absolutely love this, you guys. But unfortunately, I don't have an R34 or 32 or 33. But I picked up this uh, for a pretty good friend of mine. We call him the uh, Polak. Uh, what is it, Polak Walker? Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna love this, you guys. Uh, yeah, the titanium. I paid 200, 210 bucks. 210 bucks, and online, how much was it online? About 300 bucks. So we saved big on this one, and uh, sold out again, you guys. Yeah, if you're in a Mori factory, pick it up. Whatever you see, get it, because you will regret it when you get home, because they're going to be so not long. available. Um, 
The other thing I wanted for my own car was the uh, Nismo uh, racing harness. And when I got there, it sold out. So I said, you know what, well, let's order one. And they said, we don't ship out international. So it was a big savings, uh, 900 bucks. 900 bucks. It was 900 bucks Canadian. I don't know how much it was online, but yeah. I kind of regret it. Like two, three thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah, so big savings there. And uh, yeah, yeah, like I said, if you see it, be like Marcos, pick it up. The other thing that you wanted to pick up was a compressor, right? Yes. The AC compressor. It was about this big, and it was it was a toss up between a genuine uh, OEM steering wheel for his 34 or the compressor. Uh, I told him to pick up the steering wheel because there was only three left, and then they're not doing any more production runs. Where the compressor was a consistent. Uh, They're still available. Yeah, you can still order them. So uh, he's like, yeah. The only problem he wasn't able to bring it on board because it was a the airbag. Uh, so he ended up not getting it. Then we should have got the compressor. Because right? that was how much was it? Cheaper. It was like nine hundred dollars. It was like um, I forgot how much it exactly was, but it was in, in Canadian. It was like nine hundred dollar Canadian versus fifteen hundred USA or two thousand dollars. Yes. It was. He, he would have saved a lot. And AC compressor will go eventually, so he should have just picked it up. But in hindsight, or you, yeah, pick up the parts that you want. Uh, okay, you won't regret it. All right. So I, I almost forgot. So I, so I needed to pick something up from the Amori factory because I didn't want to just go home empty-handed. I was talking up a big game about picking up all these parts, but I end up not picking up a part. I end up um, this is opening it for the first time. I want to share with you guys. We every, open everything for the first time. <laughs> first time. So this is a tire. It's a tire pressure gauge. Look at that. So from the Nismo. It's, it's nice, nice, yeah. And it was a sold out too at the time. Mm -hmm. I think it's I pretty cool, right? And come from Nismo as well. Yeah. Comes with a bag, you can just put it in, put it in the Nismo on it too. So now it goes into my collection. But yeah, that's the one thing I picked up and uh, we're gonna move on to, uh, I think we're done with the Mori factory, right? Yes. We would have picked up a car too if we were able to. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. All right, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to move on to mines because mm -hmm. uh, we picked up quite a bit of stuff there too. And uh, I'll get Marcos to uh, show us uh, what he picked up there. It's so, it's so cool, eh, Marcos? Yeah, seriously, you see the Nismo, the details, right? The thing is, I was, so, I was so excited about it and I forgot that uh, in Canada we're, we go from PSI and in Japan and it's... Uh, pounds? Oh, I don't even know what it yeah, is. Yeah, KPA. So I got to realize... Uh, we when I use it, I got to learn how to do the conversion. <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool, even the back and everything. Speaking of being excited, so when I was at Mines, Marcos ended up getting me a set of floor mats, one of one. They were discontinuing it. They're not offering floor mats anymore uh, for the R35. I was so excited, we packed up everything and then went home to the hotel. And then that night when I was packing home, getting ready to, uh, trying to fit it into my, my, my check luggage, and then I realized, I was like, everything here is right-hand drive. And of course, we're left-hand drive in Canada. And I realized it didn't fit because it's right-hand drive. So I had to drive all the way back there for a third time. Third time, right? We went, was it twice or three? Three times. Three, we times. Went three times. But it worked out. We, this time around, uh, Marcos picked up a little dinky car signed by the master himself. And yes. It was awesome, you guys. So guys, when we went to Mines, uh, we spoke with the people there and it was, uh, I was looking for my steering wheel, right, for Mines. And I was looking for the one that's flat, right, because I like the, the, the shape and it's more sport looking one and everything that it was, they were sold out. They don't have it in the stock. And, um, but they told me they have this one in OEM. So when they bring it back, I feel in love. I, I, I just look at it and put it in my hand this way and I say, this one doesn't look bad, right? So, and a lot because it matched with my vehicle with the white stitches. So I said, I'll take this one. And uh, the guy was really kind and uh, basically signed it for me. And also put the year on it. So I'm pretty pumped about this. This is, this is one of the things uh, that I'm really happy about it for my trip in Japan. Um, 
Because at, at first, it was like a heartbreak, you guys. Yes. So when Marcos caught there, they, we asked for that steering with a, with a flat bottom. Because he has one before in his previous R34. So he wanted another one. But this time, it's sentimental values was because being in Japan, visiting Mainz itself, and getting the owner to sign it was the, the, the highlight of his trip. And unfortunately, they said sold out, and his heart just sunk, you guys. Yes. And I, he, he was so looking forward to this trip and having that signed. And but unfortunately, we were like talking to him, and they said, you know what, we have another one. And there's the last one. And there's the last one. So it was like all the stars aligned. It was meant to be. <laughs> it, it meant to be. Yes. And look, look what he has, you guys. Yes. And this, priceless. Priceless. Eh? Absolutely. <laughs> I, I was so happy. Like everything changed. When they say we have one more, um, and they had the white stitches, I said, "Oh, like when I things are meant to be, yeah, it's, so it's, meant, like, it's meant to yeah, be." Like you know. And I was happy. And 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 now because I, I've been basically building few few R thirty fours in the last five years, so now going this way is just doing something different, right? Yeah. So it's not always the same thing. And uh, I'm glad I get this one in like an OEM style, which is you know round instead of flat. So I'm pretty happy and yeah. very pumped for this one. I can wait to install this one yeah. on R34 yeah. for sure. So moving on. How much is how much is this one, Marcos? Um, this one it was thirty-two thousand five hundred yen, yen, which is around nine hundred dollars. Which and that one is almost the same price as in uh, anywhere else. Yeah. So but. This one has no price, <laughs> so I don't know how much price we increase or, or help, but yeah, this yeah. is this is this is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm that's that's, about this. that's money. It's can priceless. Buy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this is something that money can buy. Yeah, you're right. Okay, moving on. So um, when I was there, I talked to the to the guy there in the front desk, uh, assuming he was the manager, and uh, asked him what parts that he has available for R34 right now, because apparently everything is sold out. So he bring this one to the table and uh, he said this is an arm breast for R34. This has been development as, as we speak. This is a prototype. Yeah. And, um, and as soon as I saw it, I feel in love. I don't even ask how much it was, I say I take it. Yeah. Right? Uh, just to, to see the name on top, mines, and also uh, a match with the interior of my vehicle. There we go. You guys see it? Yep. And I love it, the combination they do. They have le the leather and they have the sway on the side, yeah. right? So it's pretty neat. So, and it has the stitches in white, which yeah. match my steering wheel and also match my interior. Yeah. Like I say. So what they changed up this year, you guys, is they actually supplied the actual, like, uh, the hard shell itself. Mm -hmm. And they wrapped it. In the old, in the old, the previous generation, what they did was they just sold you the actual leather itself, and then you have to install it on your own. Mm -hmm. and With some no people, stitches, no nothing. Yeah, yeah. I just so you just put the cover over like top. It. Yeah. And that's, I think this is the way to go. I like yes. this. You just unscrew the old one, put the new one in, and you don't have to worry about insulation and all that stuff. So that's just. Yeah, That's this is way. pretty unique, yeah. pretty unique. We had the first one, yeah. so we are the only ones in Canada that has yeah. this one right now, as yeah. we speak, right? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that we make more and, and maybe in different colors or things like that, but I, I really like this one a lot because they match my interior. Well, after like all of I our say, friends watch yeah. this vlog, and <laughs> they, they, they want to be... <laughs> so basically, once I went to this way, so I had to get the whole thing, basically the whole mine's goodies they have available for an yeah. R34 for the interior. So uh, I get, uh, basically, this is uh, the e-brake e boot. E-brake boot. And oh, sorry, this no, is an e-brake boot? Or this? No, this is a shifter. Okay, yeah. This, this is, is yeah. a shifter. Yeah. And this is a e-brake boot. E-brake boot. Right? It's the same thing, a match, you know. Um, let me just open it. A match, basically, my the interior. White nice white stitching. And it's actually genuine leather to you Yes, guys. and also the name on mine says just no like anything yeah i was gonna that's what i was gonna say too bad they didn't have the mines on the outside on the like outside, uh, like they but already, what they did is so that they do it in the they did it in the inside very very subtle so it's not a knockoff you guys it's Look from around. mines right beautiful yeah so which you know everything match in the interior yeah also let uh, me know in the comments below would you have wanted it on the outside like mines on the outside or do you think they did it right for putting mines Insignia on the, on the inside. 
Yeah, let me know in the comments below, you guys. All right, continue. So they also showed me this um, uh, e-brake handle, and uh, they told me this is a prototype too as well, right? So, and this is like a <clears throat> Meiba Sway, as you can tell, it's just Alcantara or yeah. Sway, whichever you want to call. And also has the white stitches, right? And it has the name of mine, so I don't know, you can see, see they it. changed it up where they actually, it's like um, uh, embossed in instead of uh, printed. Well, well, we'll look at that one after, yes. but that's what they're, and they're doing in uh, Alcantara now. In Alcantara now. Because the internal, the guts are the same as the, yes. this one. Then, it's just that they're doing a run it. on yeah. the Alcantara and yeah. So that's pretty this sick, is the other one. So um, this is the other design. So, um, and this one is printed versus this one, as you can tell, yeah. right? And this one is a little bulky or a little bigger, a little, thicker? Yeah, a little thicker. Than this one. Yeah. So we, we figured out which one we would use at that point. I personally, I think I like this one because eventually when you, if, if you pull your e-brake too much, this will probably wear out, but this is actually in, in embedded in there. Printed. So I think I would like, but let me know what you guys would prefer if you yes. ever wanted to pick one of these up. Do you think this is the way or this is the way? Yeah. Go. All right, guys. After that, <laughs> basically, we was there for a couple of hours, and after I purchased all my things, uh, Mr. Mines come in and say, "I gave you this gift for you. Mm -hmm. You know, just I guess uh, show me some appreciation, which you don't have to. But you know, I, I think it was very, very nice of his yeah. part, very kindly. They gave me this, uh, you know, Mines sunglasses box or case full, or whatever nice you want to call it. too." And, um, and it's pretty nice. So I love it. So I was pretty happy when I left Mines and, uh, uh, and seeing the shop and everything. I just like, I can't wait to install all these parts in my vehicle this yeah. year. So I can't wait for summer. So how much was this, Marcos? Let's, uh, let's go. Uh, let's go over. J just in case they, uh, I have my cell phone. Yeah. Because I want to give you an accurate numbers, right? Um, uh, basically, we can start from, uh, I will give you um, this basically in uh, Canadian dollars. You can do that uh, basically um, go on Google and see how much it was in gents. I don't have the receipt from mine, but I have everything in, in Canadian dollars yep. because that's how I do my spreadsheet. Yeah. So basically, we can start here in the mine steering wheel, $912.24 for this steering yep. wheel, $912. Yep. So for the mines uh, handbrake, this one it was two hundred and forty nine fifty cents, right? Whichever. Yeah. So this one it was two hundred and forty nine. And some of these items we can't get online, right? Exactly. Yeah, Not so right I, now. Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. But, uh, I'm pretty sure eventually uh, you you can get this yeah. stuff. All right. The the mines book kit, which is these two together, uh, it was three hundred and thirty five dollars, right? These two. Yeah. Three hundred and thirty five dollars. Yeah. Uh, and these are genuine leather, you guys. It's, mm -hmm. they're, they're not uh, synthetic leather or anything like that. So. Uh, this one, the mine boot kit, the arm uh, rest leather, that one, it was $245. $245.55. Which is a, it was quite a bargain compared yes. to mine because yeah, mine was. $900. Nine, yeah, mine was 900 bucks and it didn't. <laughs> they don't even have the name. It didn't have the name and that was the reason why I didn't end up getting it. And then my cluster cover. Was another, I think it was... 800 Yeah. It, it was expensive. Yeah. It was probably like the whole, the combining was $1,700 for both of us. Yeah. So I wasn't sure why the R34 parts were, were it's expensive, but relatively a lot cheaper than the 35. Mm -hmm. Is again, 900 bucks for the armrest and then 700 bucks for the cluster cover. And the only letdown was it didn't say nothing uh, mines on the outside, so... That was one of the reasons why I kind of passed on it. Also, uh, we almost done, and uh, basically, what else I have here from mines? Uh, the, that's it, pretty much yeah, everything right. is. And then your gloves. And the gloves. Right? Yeah, you got. You want to wear mine here? Well, you can wear mine, Marcos, because yes. I already opened. Yeah. Like, I already opened mine, so you can go ahead and this, let's. Uh, gloves too. 20, cheap, cheap, right? Twenty bucks. <laughs> yeah, twenty bucks. It was uh, yeah, twenty bucks. Like how much? Twenty gens? Twenty thousand yeah. gens? So. But even the quality, they are really soft. So in, in the name, I mean, it just can be this, right? I love yeah. the mines. So they had two versions. They had a reflective version. And of course, Marcos and I chose the OG. Yeah, because mines. we are flashy, right? <laughs> we like the flash, right? So, and they're pretty One size fit all. Yes. And look. And I have big hands. 
from a layman. I, I have small hands, you guys. So, but yeah, this <laughs> it's one not, it's not one size fit all. <laughs> feels good, feels soft, feels comfortable. It's not like other gloves like that heavy or anything like that. See, these gloves, the reason why Marcos and I bought the gloves is, have you ever seen Alcantara when after you wear it and you have like somewhat greasy hands? This is going to help yes, you. Yes, it's going to help. It's going to keep it looking mint. Absolutely. See, this is a nice combo, right? So and, and you don't you got a ship knob too. Oh yeah, also. <laughs> no, let me do the other way. Like, yeah. I'm ready. Get We're ready, ready for summer, you guys. Absolutely. We're get ready for summer. This this 34, 35, and whatever else we got coming. We're coming, <laughs> we're, well, it's going to be sick this summer, yeah, you guys. Yeah, you should see it if you want to show the colors. They're even using the gloves just to make sure that I don't scratch it. But this is for the new... Um, uh, should, we should we say it? Should we say it? Should we say it? Yeah, just you, we can wait or just yeah, say it. Just it's up to you. We'll just sneak, give you a sneak peek. Next. We'll give you a sneak peek. Just, uh, just go, ahead. A, just, go ahead, Marco. Just a uh, sneak peek. Ooh, hey. Look at that. That's for things coming this summer. Just, Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. Going to finish off here. So we had a quick stop at Apit. Uh, it was like the Canadian Tire or the AutoZone of Japan. It, it mm -hmm. had everything. You can actually buy R35 VR motor, fully built. Uh, Stoker too. It was like a 4.2 liter. Yeah, they have brakes, endless brakes, exhaust. Oh, you can name it. <laughs> Anyone <laughs> order built motor? Guys, pick my money. Okay, I'm pick it up <laughs> with this little small stuff. From here, 20, 2200 yen, so 22 bucks. It was a tray, mechanics tray, but it's not uh, magnetic. So it's just gonna put some keys and stuff inside. It is beautiful. Yeah. I don't care, it's not magnetic. Yeah. And of course, I got this for a good friend of mine in uh, San Francisco. He's posted it online. Hey, friend, can you pick me up one of these? And you can only get these at uh, Tokyo Auto Salon at the HKS booth. And it was pretty easy. We just went up there and showed them the Instagram and got it and... Well, for me, it was a lot easier. I just need to smile. <laughs> yeah, this stuff, you can't, money can't buy, so. Pretty neat. And this, money can buy for 3,800 yen. So, 40 bucks Canadian. So if I screw up or something, it was easier on my knees when I beg my wife for car parts or for forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I regret not getting one of this, but guys, really? yeah, absolutely. So, this, is, so. this is nice. Let me open it up for you guys here. 30, 30, 3,800 yen. Just around $35 Canadian. So I don't know how much savings Unless. it was. I don't know how much savings. And just, it says HKS. It's just beautiful, man. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it over here, right, Marcos? And it's right here. Put it right there, just like that. Yeah, so I'm gonna put everything, uh, tally, we're gonna tally it all up and finish off this vlog. Uh, we did save quite a bit. And if we, even if we didn't save, if, including the trip and the hotel, <laughs> Nothing happened. Everything is still intact. Just a five thousand dollar cluster. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? We can get another one. <laughs> but uh, just to visit uh, Japan itself with Marcos and Johnny and Jack Automotive, and just it was just a fantastic trip. Even though we didn't save, let's say if we didn't save, I think we did, including the hotel and everything. It's a trip of a lifetime, you guys. The springs. Yeah. If you get a, a chance to go, I would highly recommend it. So. Uh, you wanna say bye? Right, that's it. I mean, <laughs> Let me make sure my cluster is still in one piece. Alright? It's already happening. Alright, guys. Alright, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We'll see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs>